Hello everybody, it's uh, Horde of the Board here again with an unboxing. It's not really an unboxing because I just want to show you the contents. It's an older game, which is a goodie, but I got something in the middle that has to do with this game. I'm not showing you the other side because it has my address on it. But I just want to show you the... I want to show you this and the other thing has to do with it. And that's the unboxing. I just want to show you all the components of Parks. And the thing is... Uh, I should have done this before, but I got it and I unboxed it as soon as I got it and I didn't have my setup and I was not even at home. But this is Parks. It's a game about the national parks uh, based on the, um, the art that they made for the parks. Uh, 1 to 5 players, ages 10 and up, 40 to 70 minutes. can be a little bit faster though, if you know the game. That's a bit long. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is made by from Keymaster for Henry Audubon. So we have the rule book. That's a very nice production. It's a very nice rule book. Not too long. It has pictures and some common questions which I like. Some solo mode rules. And that's it, solo mode reference. And then we have a 59 parks. Uh, see the full content of parks illustrations or purchase prints. 59parks.net. So you can get the prints. Uh, this game is based on those prints, so they made a game around it. Uh, so it's a collaboration between 59 parks print series and Keymaster Games. Everything from this game comes from the series featuring over 40 artists from around the world. Uh, there's 45 national parks uh, from across the United States. We have this a little artwork. Maybe I will put this somewhere as... Bear signs at the Great Smoky Mountains with Chris Turnham. Turncam. I cannot really read it. But uh, this is a... Uh, bit of a, uh, of a welcome to the adventure and to put the thing that you uh, punch out in the box. Sorry for the notification, I forgot to turn it off. But it teaches some key rules. And there's some more parks here. Spoilers! Um, and we have here the actions Canteens, camera photos, buying gear, reserve parks, visit the park, and trail sites. I already un I punched this, so I'm just going to go to this. It's a wonderful production. I really like it. It has two of these, so you can just basically spread it out. It has the same content. So we have our wild tokens, which are little animals. So this is a fish. There is a... There's a wolf, and so on. Let me just show you another one. It's a mountain cat, bobcat. Was it again a lynx? No. That's a this bison. So we have these mountain tokens, like this. We have sunshine. These are made of wood. All these components we have some water and we have these trees and these are pictures they're all different but they all are at one point so we for example have like this is the some of them are animals this is bear swimming and they all have different artwork and this has these nice lids which looks like a tree trunk. And this is just the same. We have the main board which sits in between these uh, things so it doesn't move. So if I put it like this, it doesn't move just millimeters because it fits nicely. So it's not a double sided, it's just one side where you put the cards and stuff like that. There's some instructions here. Oh, I should have actually, yep, some instructions here. 
it's a nice board it's just to put something on it to make it flat because in the beginning it will just be a little bit like this but it will flatten out eventually um, so we have here our little trails where we're gonna walk our and they give different uh, benefits like sunshine and water and stuff like that some of them you don't use depending on the player count some of them you do use and they fit nicely in here so it's also like a bit of a how if you don't punch stuff where does it go we have the beginning of the trail and the end of the trail this is just the back which doesn't do anything it's the beginning of the trail it's a tent and this is depending on uh, i think maybe this is solo depending on the player count maybe so but it was this side so and you put it here this is our first player token really cool i like it anyway the wind blows <laughs> Really cool. But this one goes here. It's also a dedicated space. Then we have this space, so you can actually push it out. And we have these camp uh, fires in different colors for different players. And the backside is when you use them and you refresh them once one of your hikers reach the end of the trail. So this one goes here as well. So that's the top part. Then we have this part which has the different uh, hikers I usually put them by two and then uh, one is left over I put two there and uh, two on the other side and then I have one left over which I put one on this side and one on this side which is the pink so to balance it out and they look really nice in different colors and they are printed there are these hikers on it I think the hikers are both sides the same yeah so that's this part then we are going to we're gonna have to leave the uh, the big cards for uh, later we have our solo which is this solo wolf <laughs> i think it's the solo i haven't really checked but cards look really good but i think it's the solo I usually put it like this. That one's the only uh, cards that I put uh, other way around. I'm getting confused. And this is just all the same, which is uh, these are all um, backpacks. Things you, you can buy these backpacks by paying sunshine, and they have different abilities. Cost less to visit. Uh, Cost less of these mountains to visit. You may fill a uh, canteen for free when you visit that uh, part of the hiking trail. And there are many more. And we're getting three sunshines instead of uh, a mountain uh, 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 tree token. Really good. Just really wish this game was actually five rounds. Which you can actually do because it's really nice and then you have these cards i think these are the these are like the missions so oh no these are the season to season cards so uh the season says uh so you gain uh, a uh sunshine if you gain any uh of these tokens of these uh three tokens on a turn and so on add one to the on the three current parks if you get a park you get a sunshine for the next round parks cost uh one less to visit and so on and then we have oh, we have these these are end of the round uh objectives so if i have six on parks that i visited and take three pictures i get two points if i have ten and take them five pictures i get three points so this is really nice they have different ones six parks worth of two and three points or eight parks worth of three two and three points uh 
cheap if it's a three parts worth of four or five points you want to have the high high points of five parts worth four or five points and there are a few of them and the artwork here is nice really nice the seasons Let's put the canteen. No, I actually like this part we got on the top when I open it. And you have the canteen. So if you get a canteen, you flip it. Once you fill it with water, you can do this. This one you could do two times. Some others are like, you get a wild token or a reserve park. There are different ones. Some will just give you straight resources for them, like two, two sunshine even. Very, very nice. Should I just shove them? I got almost all the ones with the trees, so. I don't want to put them together anymore. It's like, nope. And then we have the parts. Oh, by the way, on the side, there's also how you put things in. Oh, and here you have the camera. So on the back side, it says what you can do with the camera, but you can remember it and just keep it like this, but you can also flip it like, what is it again? You just need one resource to uh, take a picture. Else if uh, someone takes a picture with two resources on one of the tiles, they take the camera and then they have a discount, but it can take and be taken away. And if the person at the end of the game, at the, uh, at the end of the trail gets to take a picture for one at the end, who still has the camera. Uh, and we have these beautiful parks. So this is what you have to uh, give at uh, the end or when you reserve and you do the action to pay for the park, you can also pay for your reserved card. And this is the points that you get. And they look so cool. I love them. I wish I could have an extra set of these cards just to hang them. Oh, they put them in a frame. It looks really cool. I went to this park. <laughs> Very nice park, by the way. Um, I hope I'm, 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 my voice is a little bit low because it's the end of the day. And should I actually speak up? So I hope you guys still hear me. But even if you guys didn't hear me that well, I hope... Still gonna put this out, but for now, it's gonna be like this. And then we're gonna put these things. gonna open this right away I hope it what is it I know what it is it's parks expansion nightfall I played with this uh, when someone else's copy like years ago and I think this is a very cool expansion so um, it adds some new stuff to it what I'm going to do is be very carefully do this so you need parts for this requires parts base game there's some new parts actions and some new cards. So we're gonna open this one up. It's uh, one to five, so it doesn't uh, turn up. It's still the uh, 40 to 70 minute range. So there's a beautiful picture here. 
So Nightfall comes with this little booklet. Very nice quality on the game components and so on, where you put your tents. There's a trail area, some new year cards, and that's basically it. There's a year card reference from A to Z. I think there's a new year card that replaces this thing from the game, but the rest is just adding stuff. Oh, there's still park details, camp details. Gear with new parks. Campsite actions continued. Seasons change, and some sort of more details. And the artists of the game that make the art for the game. Uh, so, and then we have a quick guide here. The thing is, this doesn't, f I don't think it fits in the base game. There's some instant actions, instant park actions, and then some camp actions on this side. So, we're gonna have a new little board with two sides depending on the players so this one is for four and higher and this is only for one player uh for uh less than <laughs> oh well there's some new towels oh and some tents the tents go there Tents. They go there. They easily come out. And these, these, there's these new towels uh, that are part of the uh, of this board. So there's going to be a, a, a specific set to it. I think it's going to be three. I think more if there's more players. And then you see here a one and a two. So it's going to be the round. So if we're going to go to round two. Uh, it has to flip because there's no two here. We flip it, it's ready for round two. Same for this one, and this one stays. So, and there's some new actions if you take one of the tent actions. So that goes there. It's a nice insert as well. There's some new uh, little specific animals so there's going to be a owl a rabbit a this must be a lynx cannot be a house cat i think and like a beaver or a rat i don't know so they go here hmm, there's some extra space here i don't know why is there something beneath it? Nope. Well, there's going to be these extra cards. Let me see if I can open it. Yeah, that. So you get one per four sets at the end of the game. You take a lot of pictures uh, per lightning a symbol on uh, a park tile two per three parks with water and so on you have new different uh, scoring and it also goes on this board so that's why there's this space you can actually draw at some point uh, extra uh, end game scoring This looks, these look very nice. Let's shuffle them a bit. So, they go here. Uh, I don't know why there are two of these. Extra. And then we have some extra cards to round up. At least this made my day because I had like a 
busy day. And this just makes me happy, all the artwork. Fraser Lake National Park. I think this is, I like the art, this is the art from the, the cover. Hot Springs National Park. Oh, wow. Canyonlands yeah. National Park. If you don't get not notifications, and as soon as I record this, notifications, and I should have known better. Uh, Indiana Dunes National Park. There are some other bears. There's some new awesome parks. Ooh. So, look like this, I think. And this look like this. And that is my unboxing of uh, Parks Nightfall. And as you could see in the base game, there was uh, a leaflet with one more expansion. Hopefully I will get that soon. I just got this and because I didn't unbox that one for you, you have the clear picture of what this actually means for the base game. A little bit, some extra stuff and some extra mechanisms. Um, not really uh, an explanation of how the game plays, uh, but the people that know, know. And it's actually a very good game if you like the... The components are awesome, the artwork is awesome. The wooden components just elevated to such a different level. And the thing is, can I put it together side by side to make it a bit beautiful? Yeah, I can. I can do it like this. <laughs> if some extra space. They totally fit. So that was my unboxing of Parks. Uh, the base game, just showing you the base game and the unboxing of Nightfall. I always say nightlife, I don't know why. <laughs> like, it's not like these animals have a, they go to a, there's like a disco. In the, <laughs> uh, well, there's gonna be some nightlife, but not for all animals, but hey, I digress. Have a nice uh, day or evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.